This is a series of 100 films about Japanese foods that I have eaten, and this is a film about rice bowls. When you move to Japan, you're going to have to learn to eat rice. And this was just something that took me a very long time to accept. Before Japan, my experience with rice was when you go out for sushi or when you get fried rice at a Chinese restaurant and occasionally at home, you know, with minute rice. I think for people of my ethnic background, you might say this is something that might be served once a week as a side dish at most. Teishoku. But in many Asian countries like Japan, rice is served with almost every meal. And sure, sometimes you might eat a sandwich or pizza or you might get noodles, but rice makes up the bulk of the staple food. And there are definitely people in Japan who literally eat rice for every single meal. With white rice, it's really, really bland, and the key is to load it up with flavor to combat the blandness. So that's why Japanese chefs invented the donburi. A don is a bowl of rice with stuff on it. That stuff could be anything. It could be chicken, it could be vegetables, it could be maple syrup coated eggs. It doesn't matter as long as it has something on it. Teishoku. And because Japanese rice is sticky, you can either eat your donburi with a spoon or with chopsticks. It's one of the cheapest and most common meals in Japan. To give you an idea of how this works, let's look at three of the most popular kinds of donburi. Type 1. Shirasu Sardine Donburi. South of Tokyo, they have a bustling sardine industry, but unlike sardines from a can, they're tiny little squiggly things harvested from the ocean floor of Sagami Bay outside Tokyo. These sardines are called shirasu from a famous suburb of Tokyo called Inoshima in Kanagawa Prefecture. It's an island and a beautiful spot to visit. However, the dried sardines the island is famous for look horrible. And their raw version looks even scarier. There's blue kinds and red kinds. And as a Japanese girl once told me, it tastes good, but it does have a lot of eyes. Sure, it looks like you're eating bugs on rice. Just think of them as tiny little fish and everything gets easier. Type 2, Chirashi Don. Next comes Chirashi Don. Now this is the most common donburi. They take a variety of sliced fish Add some sea urchin and caviar. Caviar, you say? Now, I'm not talking beluga caviar from the Caspian Sea costing $500 per jar. Caviar comes from all fish and it's usually quite affordable. We're talking about salmon and pollock roe. And to that, they may add some shrimp and shredded egg and place it on rice. It's like an entire sushi dinner in a bowl, and people eat this for breakfast in Japan. And a lot of the fish markets in Japan open early, like 3 a.m. early. A lot of the restaurants around these regional fish markets open early, and they're usually closed by lunchtime. So this idea is that you eat the fish when it's freshest, just after dawn. And often, you'll see the fish row by itself. It's actually tastier when you add soy sauce and mix it with rice. Uh, the flavors can be... A little less distinct than sushi, but as a lunchtime meal for a few dollars, it's not bad. Type 3, raw salmon. Finally, we have the ultimate of them all, the salmon donburi. Yes, that's right, you can get an entire bowl of raw salmon on rice. For donburi, this is the one I always recommend people start with. If people like seafood, they probably like salmon. And if you don't like salmon, you can get a version with tuna, raw slices of salmon. Piled high, what more can you get in life? Where can I get it? That's right, you guessed it, Minatoya in the Ameyoko. The Ameyoko is a famous shopping street near Ueno Station. Besides seafood, it's also a great place to buy cheap shoes. And, but the real star is Minatoya. It doesn't have walls, only a few tables by a counter, but the prices are good and the Chirashidon is excellent. If you're new to Japan, you might want to start in Tokyo from Shinjuku since it's the busiest train station in the world. From JR Shinjuku Station, take the Chuo Line Rapid Service in the Tokyo direction. At Kanda Station, change to the Keihin Tohoku Line in the Omiya direction. Go one stop north. Get off at Okachimachi Station. Go out the north exit, that's the main one, then walk a block north. Minatoya is on the corner to your left. As always, keep in mind this information may be out of date by the time you're watching this. The word of the day. The word of the day is teishoku. It means set meal in Japanese. That means you order everything at once and you can't change anything. So if you're not sure what you're paying for in a restaurant, just say 
Teishoku with an upturned accent. And so if you want to remember this word, feel free to watch this video 10 more times and repeat along with me. At least that's what I do. Next time. So that's it until next time when we look at how to gorge yourself on a Japanese summer night. So until then, sayonara.